in x direction then my uh, go to the type tab type tab our uh, wind force coming in the wind category therefore just select the wind then for auto lateral load what uh, earthquake select the code for the wind load is indian 875 2015 then add new load then go back to the uh, modify lateral load criteria here similarly first option exposure exposure and pressure coefficient from extent of diaphragm or the shell always select the first option because we are uh, we assign slab as a membrane and we are assigning the diaphragm for the slab so select the first option don't select the shell option then <clears throat> wind exposure parameter wind exposure in wind uh, indian code there are parameter given for wind over coefficient leeward coefficient if you go in your 875 part 2 and read it external pressure external pressure coefficient internal pressure coefficient are given and external for calculation of the external pre, pressure coefficient these are factors are given high, whatever my height is structure width is width of the structure accordingly we have to select the external pressure coefficient so always keep wind over coefficient point eight is a conservative side. It may be the your less in your structure, but keep point eight and leeward coefficient point for you. These terms you will you will know in from the that code. Then wind coefficient, whatever uh, basic wind speed you have to put this wind speed in your structure. For that, as said I earlier, for the zone. Uh, uh, in Indian earthquake code, there are given the list of the different cities and different zone. Similarly, for the list of different wind speed, the list of the Indian cities given in the code. So go to the, your code. In the end of their code, there is a list given. Basic wind speed. So find out the, your structure in where is the located and accordingly select your basic wind speed from the code. <clears throat> so basic wind speed, I have considered 39 per meter second. Then terrain category, terrain category has given one, two, three, four. Again, the terrain category explanation also given in our, our Indian code. <clears throat> Hmm. Here is the explanation given for the category one, two, category three. Category one means uh, our structure is located in open terrain, where is the uh, height of the other building is less than 1.5 meter. Category two means our structure is located in well scattered obstruction. That means the outside of the, our building, the structure height is 1.5 meter to 10 meter. Accordingly, we have to select the category option. As per the I said 75. So I have selected the category two time being. Then importance factor. As per the uh, importance factor is new added to the uh, I said 75 part 2015. Before that, this option will not added uh, in that code. So keep it as an importance factor. Explanation of this importance factor similar to the earthquake uh, in given in uh, wind code also. Then risk coefficient, the risk coefficient factor also in given in our <clears throat> code. Risk coefficient factor, table one in I said 75 part two. Risk coefficient factor, risk coefficient factor is defined 
whatever uh, life of the structure we are considering design accordingly and basically wind speed so all general building and structure 50 years design life one factor so right now we are considering the one factor similarly topographic factor is also included same given in our code then exposure height like uh, earthquake where we have given the range from the my base to the uh, lip machine room height our uh, wind is applying similarly we have to select the range bottom story select the ground because below ground there is no question of uh, applying the wind load so select the ground load and top story lip machine room or water tank and there is one more option uh, if you select terrace category so parapet height wall you want to include in your wind load calculation if you tick on yes then define what is the height of the parapet generally it is 1.2 meter to 1.5 meter to so select 1.2 meter okay similarly we have to define wind load in y direction modify lateral load <clears throat> then <clears throat> one more factor i have to tell you in x direction modify go to the modify show factor direction angle use semicolon as a separator right now we are defining the x direction considering the zero direction so select the zero option then similarly define the y direction modify load then go there and select 90 zero okay rest of the thing is similar wind speed is same terrain category is same importance factor is same risk coefficient factor is same then click on the okay okay so our earthquake in x direction earthquake in y direction wind load in x direction wind load in y direction is completed defining definition is completed then click on the okay <clears throat> 